we go. Oh, lightning's not good. Uh, make the lightning good. Oh, that's my boss. All right. I'm back with another video. Namaste. Anyway, whatever. Look. This is using the uh, wide-angle fishy lens. Looks pretty good. Huh. Huh. Ninja style or something. All right. Uh, yeah, look at my hairs. Oh, is it, is it shimmer in the light? Let me, let me get it shimmering. Uh, let me sure my hair looks awesome. Oh, yeah, that's looking... That's looking fantastic right there. Look at that. Boom. Oh, you can't see me? I can't see you. Okay, that's horrible. All right, let's uh, take, the, let's take this, this off. And... Uh-oh, we're moving the tablet now. Uh-oh. Uh! -oh. uh there... Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, I can't even see me. You can't see me. There we go. All right. So basically, this video is going to be about my struggles with internet addiction. What do you mean, Ricky? Internet addiction? What's that? Well, when I got onto MySpace, it was a new thing. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, all the cool kids are doing it. I had a cool name, Radical Ricky Rad. I was like, yeah, MySpace. Woo! Look at my muscles, MySpace. Well, I didn't have the muscle. I didn't do that. And I was like, I can talk to people. I'm like, hell yeah. And I was like, I can talk to women. So I'm like, oh, hell yeah, talking to the women. And then I, I met some women. I had relationships. And I, when, next thing you know, though, I, I was like talking to the women at one point, got drunk, told my friend, who remained anonymous, to tell truly, oh, no, not truly, uh, her name's anonymous too, uh, that I wanted to fudge her while I was drunk. And then I met that person at a party, and I was like, well, I apologize for what I said. That so shook her hand and asked her what she flattered. This was after she and her friend, whatever their names were, uh, helped me out of a situation where my car was stalled. Now, that's, that's kind of arrogant, you know, that's kind of... You know, I mean, the internet made me feel like I was a Superman to the women. But then I got mad at this one person named Aaron when they didn't comment back. And it was like five days, and I left this real message. I was like, what the hell? Like, I'm a stud muffin, and I'm saying, yo, I want to see you, and I want to do X, Y, and, and I was like, she's ignoring me. That woman's ignoring me. And then I got all mad, typed an email or some shit, and it was all like, look at me, I'm an asshole. <laughs> Because you didn't do what I wanted you to do when I thought you should do it. Internet addiction roared his ugly head. And I was like, ah, oh, you got to be careful with the internet. Oh, my gosh. Not everybody uses the internet all the time. And that might not have, I'm, you know, I'm human. Maybe that's happened to you. And as I've seen, like, the, like I got kicked the fudge off the MySpace. And I was like, well, thank goodness. Because I found myself on the MySpace trying to see how many friends I could, like, compete with Tom with. I was like... I know other people use a bot to get this friend count, but I got real friends. Look at all my real friends. Screw you, you know. And then um, and then I was like, wow, I got to customize my page and shit. My shit was looking fly. At least I think it was. I got to put my Space Dino EP up on the on the uh, MySpace music. I was having fun, but then the long arm of the law came down and said, no more fun for you, Mr. Radness. And I was I was kind of sad. But then Facebook, like, came out, and I was like, oh, look at all these fuckers, and if MySpace was bad, how bad is Facebook going to be for, uh, I don't know, like, if everybody gets instant gratification and notifications of what's going on in real time, and who's doing what's it's, and what's going on, and who goes with who, and what, like, that's just going to create a lot of, uh, controversy, a lot of unneeded, like, I don't know, nosy neighbors or some shit, like, ooh, he says this and she says that, but he was really at the mall with Janet when when Janet was over here, supposedly with Tommy Lee Jones or some shit, I don't know, and the next thing you know, it all kaboomed, and I was all like, everybody's looking at their phones, checking on their status updates, so I joined Instagram, like, way late, like, they had a, they had one little fucking, they, they used to have a camera, with like, and then they changed their logo to like this rainbow looking fucking thing, I don't know what they did, and I was like, wow, Instagram. Mm. And then I found out, like, Instagram, YouTube, and fucking... I knew Twitter was dead, like, a long time ago. I was like, I ain't important enough to have nothing to say. I was like, who are these fucking assholes? They think they're, they're, their opinion means a pile. I don't give a fuck how many times you eat at Panera Bread or, like, how much Starbucks you drink. Who gives a fuck? Who made you self-important? You know, like, why'd your head get so... Oh, I got a platform now because I'm oppressed. 
I don't know anything about Tumblr yet, but pretty sure it's another echo chamber for people in, in the egotistical, uh, I don't know, egos, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is an id ego and a super ego anyway? We will never know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I even had the problems with the fucking internet addiction. And then, oh, video games. I was playing the Call of Duty. Ugh! Killing it on my PlayStation 3. Modern Warfare 2, baby. Boom, boom. Kick your ass, bitch. And, um, yeah, that was, that was badass. That was a fun time gaming it up. But nobody's more impressed than somebody else getting called the N-word on video game. Oh, no! The women's got called the N-word! Oh, my God! We can't have this! Like, women are delicate flowers <laughs> that can't game. Bitch! Oh, my God. Like, the, the, the fucking best gamer I've ever met was a woman. And she kicked my ass, and I met her, and she was cute, and she was hot, and it was awesome. We had a good time, you know. And anyway, in real life, but, like, you protect the women in the video games? Like, how oppressed are you women? I'm just, I was just wondering. Like, I, I'm pretty sure you guys have been teachers and, like, athletes and, and, um, like, I don't know, fucking, like, women, I know women exist, uh, they're not just on the internet, I've seen them in real life, like, a couple of times, you know, they're like, I mean, they're playable characters, you know, with a non-playable character kind of heart, you know what I mean, the heart grows, stone, when being denied, you didn't let me get the ammo, so we're broken up, Chester A. Author, or, oh, Chester A. Author, <laughs> anyway, that's probably like a history reference or something, I don't know. Grover Cleveland, you never allowed me to get the smell of love potion to heal myself. <laughs> and for you, Grover Cleveland. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, like, I'm just throwing out random names of fucking presidents or some shit. Like, this is what Chester J. Oh, Chester J. Austin. Like, what about, uh, they're, they're presidents, right? I don't know, ask a history teacher. She might know something. I mean, like, at the one time, being a librarian, you had to have, like, a whole lot of knowledge. And, um... Like, I go to my library, and I'm like, look, I don't know how to work the internet. And they go, oh, it's easy. It's control P. And I'm like, that's how you work the internet? She's like, no, nigger, that's how you fucking print a document. I'm like, oh. Well, she never said the N-word to me, but she definitely was thinking. I saw a look on her face. She was like, this stupid motherfucker here. But, no, that's not true. Like, teachers and women are here to help. I know it. Uh, they've helped me, and whether they're... Like, gay or straight or in the middle, there's no difference between a teacher. They like to help. But when they can't teach because you don't give them enough fucking health potions and your Call of Duty 9, then how, how, how are they supposed to... Call of Duty 9 is probably a thing by now, isn't it? How many Call of Duty they got? And was Battlefield ever better than Call of Duty? I will never know. Because I ain't playing no Battlefield. Did I ask to jump in the tank? No. The ask, I didn't ask to do all that shit. What, what's Treyarch and what, what are these dudes doing? What's Infinity Ward and Treyarch doing now? I don't know. What does Activision got to do with it? What's going on in my video games? You know? Unless I, unless I find out, I know I ain't going to get no comments. Because ain't nobody trying to help me find out nothing. I got to do it all by myself. So, that, that's a rant on um, internet addiction and saving the women's in the video games. And Fortnite. Play that game. Or don't. I, I don't. I don't care. I don't even know what a Fortnite is. It's like a measurement of time or something. Pfft. No, it's not. It's a video game, and everything's about the video games. Why don't you get out and fucking do something? I'm just, I'm just saying, like, take your video games outside. That is a novel concept. If we can play video games outside, mobile gaming. You mean games on your telephone? Like the games I had on the TI-82 calculator, like, you can do that now? Oh shit, we already invented Game Boy. Fuck. Alright, alright, that's enough. We ain't gonna get into Atari Lynx right now, because that was badass, but... I forgot about the Game Boy. And that's my, that's my bad. I, I should have remembered the Game Boy. And the Game Gear. Oh. And the Nintendo Watch. The Game & Watch. Oh. And, oh man, the... the the, what were those games called? Those little egg games? What the fuck were they called? Digimons? No, what were they called? Pokey Pets? You know the ones with the little... You got to keep the motherfuckers alive or they die? Th those games? 
you remember what they are, right? Digitex or Pokey Pets or or All right. I'm still battling my gaming addiction. <laughs> Too many games. Two little hands. My hands are tiny. Look at my tiny hands. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>